Um, so are you I doing it by city? Filters. How many cities are you doing? Uh, the, I'm just doing it by city. By okay. city. Best results doing it by the whole state. By the whole state? I get over 500. I shoot a mass text out. That gives me three, four days of work, and I usually get three or four memos back. Okay, so whole the whole state on Zillow? Zillow scraping? Yep. Okay. That's when, Justin, if you have other better ideas, that's how I've been doing it. I got a list of 500. Um, you won't get back as many for rent because a lot of the, on the for rent ones, you're eight, you get a lot of, they're both great. You do both, do uh, the whole state by, for sale by owner and then for rent. Um, the for rent, you're going to get a lot more insurance or insurance, <laughs> real estate agents because they'll list them a lot with agents and agents will post them on there for rent. Um, but still, they're both just as effective. In Ohio, if you go in, name your campaign, and then go in and put the city, just start typing in Ohio, and then it'll pop up Ohio, USA. Just click Ohio, the whole state, and it'll pull, it'll, it'll max you out at 500, but you'll get a lot back. Okay. <laughs> so um, he's just going to work with me. There's and we're just going to buy, we're just going to lease option piece by piece when they come open and vacant. Um, Very nice. So, so, so those are good. Some property managers are good. Some property managers are bad. Because it's not that some property managers, they don't want to, um, you know, lose their clients by selling other properties. But it's also just client service. This is also something that you could provide your clients if they are willing and looking to sell and get rid of their property. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the that's the why for them, right? So, um, <laughs> but yeah, so the four rents is great. Um, so I I started that campaign for the state, and then once I go through and call back everybody, and the and is that what you do when you get like when someone texts back a text back a question? Um, are you going to rent or are you going to lease it or is somebody else leasing it? Or what do you do when they ask questions when they send back on the SMS campaign? Um, through, well, what, uh, I was doing, or, yeah. what I was doing right now is just going to the people who weren't asking the questions. <clears throat> just go to the people yeah. that say maybe or, you know, like that. Um, and then out of those, I've been, I've been talking to a few, but not very many. And the last campaign that I sent out, um i got a lot of no's a lot of no's and some maybe then one that was like well i'm gonna call you when i get back uh you know from out of town type of thing so um but generally when they're giving me the um the text messages back it's um you know i'm looking for the people who are saying the yes or the no or the maybe um the yeah. people who are asking questions then i round back up and get to them but i think maybe that might okay, good late no that's good that's perfect i always go for the you know the low-hanging fruit first absolutely i look through and the ones that say yes or maybe boom i pick up the phone immediately call them because they're hot they're fresh they're ready to talk and i get i get them because they're right there talk ready to talk i talk to them and i send a memo out to them asap once i get off the phone with them i get their price i get their monthly when they're i fill out my question because you have the lead sheet questionnaire thingy right Mm -hmm. Got all this. You feel I fill all that out. Boom. Once I got it all done, cool. All right, I'm going to send you a memo and I walk them through the memo. I'm like, cool. What I'm going to send you is like a DocuSign. You ever done electronic signature through your email? I tell them exactly what's on it and I walk them through that. I'm like, cool. You're going to be able to, I'm going to be able to email it to you right now. And you're going to sign that and give it right back to me and then ask that question. And then, oh, yeah, sure. I'll sign it right That's great. Cool. That's great advice, man. I'm going to send this to you right now. Are you able to send it back to me right away? Exactly. And it's, you're it's, it's not like, hey, can it. you sit on this thing for two weeks and then like and make me follow up with you seven times? Can you do that? Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. It's, just, it's because otherwise, if they say, oh, well, I got, well, let me think about it. You're going to get to an objection. And you're going to be like, dude, look, this costs you nothing. I'm just wanting to ride alongside you and market and try to beat you to the bunch, get the tenant buyer in that property for you. You can deny anybody I bring to you. This costs you nothing. 
I just want to help you out and resolve this situation that you got on your hands right now, brother. I'm just here to help. So all right. So you're you're walking it through them. You're walking it through right now on the phone, and I'm um, having them open their email while you're on the phone. No, 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 no. I just walk them through what's on. I like like cool. This is what I'm going to be sending you. It's okay, going to be okay. electronics. It just says the purchase price. You just said that you wanted two fifteen for your property, right? And you wanted uh, fifteen hundred bucks a month for your rent, right? Okay, cool. Okay. That's what's going to be on that memo. It's going to have your address. It's, going to be, it's just an agreement between you and me saying that I'm going to be able to market your property and get you a tenant buyer in there for you. Okay? Okay. And then do you have any questions on that? No? Okay, great. You can get that to me back in about an hour because I'd love to get my team working on this for you as soon as possible so I can bring you some uh, possible tenant buyers. And the quicker you get that back to me, the quicker I can start working on this for you. And then I ask okay. them about, okay, so who's going to be uh, and then can I be able to contact you if somebody needs to see a lit, needs to see the property? And then I check out the Zillow lab on the on Zillow. Like, okay, cool. I got a ton of pictures here. This looks great. Is there anything else that you want to maybe add that I could give to my uh, team that would uh, just give a little extra poof, a little extra zab on the ad that I'm going to be marketing? With? <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> little, little flubberberries. Okay. You know, okay. that, and, then, awesome. and then I'm like, cool, awesome. Well, awesome. It was great talking to you, Alifa. I love it. I look forward to it. You can miss my number. Feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. Okay, great. Boom. Super easy. Okay. Super simple. Sounds super simple. It is. It's super easy. Um, but then again, like you said, once you get back to those, when you get the ones that are sending the text, the text, the questions, I've gotten deals off the ones that are questions because some of them are just, they would just have questions and mm -hmm. I'd much rather talk to them real quick because they're inquisitive or, and then ultimately find out because I had one guy, a uh, deal I got last week. He was just like, well, I just need to know a little bit more information about it. And I called him and he was like, dude, we've missed our mortgage payments the last two months. We don't know what we're doing with this property. We're already moved into our new house. I'm like, dude, this is perfect. I emailed him the docu or the dot loop, and I had it back before I could even get a drink of water. It's like bing, right back in my email. Oh crap! The dude was super excited. So um, <laughs> the questions don't don't get away from calling the questions. I call everybody on that thing. Okay. Okay. Because what's it gonna hurt? A five minute conversation with somebody. They're gonna at least they're gonna tell you no. Right. Yeah. Exactly. That's what's great. Or at least or at least send them an email. You talk to them and they just have questions or they want to sit on it. And then at least send them the, the leave behind the email and it's something to follow up in a week or two when they don't have anything going. They still have nobody in there. It's a follow up, you know? And there could be a deal in a couple weeks. If you exactly. Can't okay. If you can't sign them up, butter them up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. That's it. That's it right there. There's All right. Some old Tom Hopkins or something coming out, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I know Tom Hopkins. Yeah. I used to have a little uh, thing, a little door hanger. I put it on my rear view hanger. I, I went to a Tom Hopkins seminar. Heck yeah, dude. Yeah. That's, old, that's some old Tom Hopkins. <laughs> if you can't sign him up, butter him up. Man. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's great, man. Um, yeah. Um, what was uh, I feel? I feel, I believe that uh, I feel good. I feel great. I I used to do these motivational things. I'd say to myself on my way into work. I'm, I'm gonna find it here. I'll, that reminds me. Thanks for reminding me, Justin. I'm gonna go find that old thing. <laughs> I feel good. I feel fine. I feel this way all the time. <laughs> well, I've got a I've got a good way of. Uh, reminded people of uh, great sales teachers I've studied I've studied a lot of them myself Tom Hopkins I've studied too and uh, a lot of others I love that stuff hey this was great this was <laughs> this call's been great I think you guys honestly need to talk like this every single day of the week Shut up. Hey, thanks for watching, but don't forget to post, introduce yourself, 
tag a friend, like us, leave a comment, subscribe, share this video, just do something. Don't just sit there. There's all that money out there. You got to get going, get in motion. This is motion real estate.